Hi there, I'm Zevia. Let's play Northwall. This world is darker than you knew. So this intro is a lot of fun to come back to uh, after you have seen the game. The first time you play through, there's a lot of like, who is this? What's going on? You don't really know what you're watching, but if you come back to it after you have finished the game, there's like a little reward for it. Of, oh, this all makes so much more sense. Corruption and dark magic will always be a threat. All the music provided by the very talented Kevin McLeod from his website incompetech.com. Of course, he's in the credits if you're not sure how that uh, website URL goes, but he's awesome. If you ever need some royalty free music, he is an amazing resource. There will always be those who voluntarily conspire with monsters for their own gain. The reason I mentioned that it's cool if you come back to this intro later on is because these are all locations that you will visit at some point in the game, as well as characters that you will encounter. So this is sort of a preview of what's to come before you know what it is. And no matter how safe you feel, What's funny is a few people have played my game and they said this has a very Game of Thrones vibe to it. Um, and before finishing the game, I had never watched that series. There's always the possibility of great danger. So I finally got around to starting to watch it yesterday. So I can try and figure out why everybody keeps saying that it has a very Game of Thrones feel. Because I don't know what that means. Never forget that we are here to be vigilant. We must never forget the legacy Galaron established for Northwall here. Galaron. What is it, Father Sixtus? You should go check on Rick, Ben. I believe it's time he gets his rest. Yeah. Alright. Uh, hey. This is where you get to name your character, and I'm gonna go ahead and just stick with defaults all the way through the game whenever this sort of option comes up. Suvan, we'll talk more later, yeah? Of course. Father Sixtus, do you think we're safe? I'm sure we are. We've been safe from monsters for decades. And the world never stays the same, young Suvan. But come, there's always another lesson to learn, and we should begin. Still trying to get cleric lessons. The clerics are good people, Rick. Bunch of self-righteous stiffs is what they are. I think people are feeling uneasy. Great, what now? What's got them hiding in the corner this time? Sixtus is speaking oddly. He seems different. Sixtus is old and senile. Don't give me that look. He's the last of Galaran's disciples. You should show more respect. Look, Ben, how many nights have we stood out here and nothing happens? What about Sylph? We haven't heard from them in a while. And it could be a lot of reasons their ship didn't come. Maybe. Well, I'm here to take over. You can go rest. Look, Sixtus always feels uneasy. That's no reason to start getting on this idea that the world's going to end. Are you seriously still worried? Ben, we've even started building a civilian camp nearby. There's talk of starting an actual village, making Northwall more than just a fort up here. Yeah, I guess. What was that? I don't know. An earthquake? I don't think so. 
Help! <laughs> Let's go. So here's some instructions. You automatically run. You can turn that off by holding shift. You can open up the menu. So, of course, save often, frequently. Hey! He's quick, be careful. So this explains, how does the CTB gauge work? So you can see there in the lower left that that's the turn order. The person farthest to the right is the one that's about to act and the next seven people to act strings along to the left. Now I know that this guy is going to evade every attack unless I hit him with impale. First, you have to build up TP. I can't keep up with them, impale him to keep him in place. When you land a basic attack, that's 5 TP, and other things will generate various amounts of TP. Now, hit him hard! So the damage range of ability is given in its description. We can see this does 20 to 30 damage. Now, they change with your stats, but it's before enemy defenses are calculated. At this point, I'll just work them down. He's... Do you think he was responsible for that explosion? Maybe. We need to find the captain. I'm sure he's fine. We need to make sure everyone's safe. I got you! Vile creatures. Help the civilian quarters, Suven. What about you? I must find and aid the captain. You can handle those fiends on your own. Go, they're in great danger. But... No! Somebody help! So here's some more. Every battle in this game, except for bosses. You can flee with a 100% chance. There's no BS where it's like, you tried to escape. It didn't work. You wasted a turn. Hey! Cleric! He's alone. I will not allow you to harm these people. So this is the little tutorial that says, hey, certain guys have really high armor, but really low magic defense. And also abilities cost either magic or TP. Anything that costs magic is going to be in blue. And anything that costs TP is going to be in green. we gonna do? We need to get everybody to a safe place. There's monsters everywhere. Can't you defend us? Not alone. We need to find the guards and the captain. Sextus! Sextus! No. Father Sextus! Captain! Stay back, Suvan. This one's mine. Little tutorial that says certain enemies have special effects applied to them. So in this particular case, this ogre also has armor break applied to him whenever you use thunder. Attack. It's basically the little uh, hint that hey, you can try certain abilities on certain bosses and they'll do special things. So now instead of doing 12 damage per attack. 68, 65. Captain! I'm glad you two are okay. Oh no, Sixtus. Suvin, I'm so sorry. There's no time for that. Captain? There are holes in the courtyard and Baron's room that more monsters are pouring out of. You three check the barracks for survivors. Then I'm calling for the abandonment of Northwall. What? Take whoever you can to the civilian encampment. We'll regroup there. Is he serious? Actually, I guess I'm okay leaving as soon as possible. This is just an explanation that's like, hey, here's how you save the game. You should do it often. I think I'm also going to lower volume just a little bit. 
which you can also do from the main menu. So here's a little bit to explore. You can examine various things in this game. A little bit of tutorial that, hey, if you run around and you check things, you might get items. You might just get useful conversations and such. She died protecting her child. Too young for this. Where is it? I know it's here. I need to find that book. It's here somewhere. Ah, Galaran's teachings. Can't leave this behind. Which is a very small buff for anyone that's a cleric. It raises cleric magic attack by two. Which means his magic abilities and his healing and all that stuff does just a little bit more. If we live through this, I'm coming back and drinking this. He looks half eaten. A little bit of a preview about what you find in the barracks. What the... Oh, shit. Look out! So hey, let's learn about buffs. And debuffs. Status effects, like burn, are displayed in the actor's windows or in the enemy's description window when you select them. Ah, oh, look, there's a number in the corner next to the icon. It's either the number of actions he must take until it wears off, or the approximate number of turns remaining until it naturally wears off. You can check out all the status effects, as a general rule, from the menu. So again, special things for certain bosses. In this particular case, Fire Breath burns the Blue Worm, which lowers its defenses, because normally it has a very high defense. Any ideas on how best to handle these things? Shoving a spear down their throat should work just fine. I should scan them to figure out a good strategy. So yeah, Supin has a scan ability. It doesn't use up an action, so you can use it as many times as you want. You can just keep acting. Just to give you an idea of, like, little strategy tips. I'll show you how that looks in just a second. So hey, what's up with these guys? How am I supposed to beat them? How do, how do I know what they do? I can scan and I can see... Oh, he has a high chance to evade attacks, but wait, I learned a technique to deal with that when I was fighting the bandit earlier. I know that I can probably impale him to lower his evade chance. So I will do that. Uno down. So now I know I can pretty well just fuck up this guy. Probably don't need to worry too much about their health. I know he only does about 14 damage with a breath and everyone else can handle that. So we're gonna kill him dead. Excellent. Tutorial boss defeated. Corvus is right. We have to leave. And go where exactly? The civilian encampment, like he said. Come on, let's go find as many people as we can and get out of here. And we can see. Oh, it's a statue of Galaran, the first cleric of Northwall. You'll see a lot of those statues. That's what he looks like. So let's go see. What was down here? I didn't explore this earlier. Huh. Not much left down here, Suvan. Did you check the emergency supply boxes? Not yet, but I can. And look, there's some stuff. Super cool. What about Ben? Where did Ben go? So he was going to look for people, right? Someone said a lot of people fled to the courtyard earlier. Are they still there? The courtyard was overrun by monsters. All I saw were a lot of bodies. So we could go run around, we could explore, but maybe I'll leave that for people who want to play the game, check out some more stuff. Now we'll go ahead and move on, but let's go ahead and save and stop this particular recording. We'll pick back up.